with inflation hitting Americans while it's hard, I wanted to see what the price difference is between dining out or buying groceries and cooking at home. Take a listen. The age old question, should I make food at home or go to a restaurant? Average at home food prices rose 11.4% from 2022 compared to 2021. In 2022, food prices increased faster than their historical averages from 2002 to 2021. Food prices for things such as eggs, poultry, cereal, beef saw significant increases. According to the USDA, food prices saw an increase as minimum as 13% to as high as 32% for certain grocery items. So as grocery prices rise, we wanted to see if it's easier for consumers to dine out rather than eat at home. Every single grocery item is purchased from a Target in Grand Junction, whereas every restaurant item is purchased from a local chain restaurant in Grand Junction. Starting off the first meal of the day with breakfast, the total retail cost for a pancake breakfast with a side of bacon and eggs is $11.57. Compare that with chain restaurant IHOP's prices for the same meal, and it's a nearly $6 difference, with IHOP's meal ringing up to be $17.29. Moving into lunch, there's a smaller price gap, sitting just below $5. The ingredients for a turkey sandwich at home came out to a total of $14.49. While a turkey sandwich and a side of soup at Zoop costs $19.32. We found the price to dine out or eat at home for dinner had the lowest price difference. For a spaghetti and meatball meal with a side salad at Olive Garden, the total cost was $21.59. To eat the same meal at home with dried pasta and pre-made meat sauce is $19.55, a little over a $2 difference. While we didn't find vast price differences between food items, according to a Feeding America map, Mesa County has a food insecurity rate of 11.1%. The map also shows an additional estimated $11,236,000 would be required to meet food needs in the county. But with food prices dipping down slightly in 2023, working for you, we found it cheaper to buy groceries and eat at home. It's worth noting every price in this story is according to Mesa County prices. It may differ depending on brands, the state you live in, or even supply chain issues. According to that same Feeding America map, 533,650 Coloradans are facing hunger. Nearly 130,000 of those people are children. The map estimates Colorado would need $350,359,000 more per year to meet food needs across the state.